Hey, it's Tirazu. Welcome to the video. Back with the old Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today we're getting to the very first story mission of the game. Which first requires us to go talk to Mai. And find out what the hell she wants. Yeah. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Not really. I mean, I haven't even been assigned a task yet just to complete the Pokedex. It's very vague. Listen, I've had an epiphany. You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Ooh, well, my first Pokemon is, uh, what's her face, Oshawott? And she's got a Pikachu, so this is not going to go well. Biga. When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refused to listen to anything I tell them. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Mega! When I saw how you and your Pokemon worked together, I realized we needed to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Pikachu is ready to go. The Survey Corps is a Kari challenge you to battle. Yeah, Pikachu. Who was already out. Now we gotta switch. No, I guess I don't get to. I'm be forced to switch, really. It's playing like a Mortal Kombat theme going on. Quick attack. Now they change up their strategy. Instead of just doing electric move twice. Next one, I get you. Unless I'm too slow. Oh, got him. Yeah, I win. Well, I wouldn't switch out those couple of Starlies in my team, though. You seem to be completely in step with one another. Lots of levels up. Level up for everyone. And new moves available? Phew, thanks for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Biga. You guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Become best buddies. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have something called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Whatever electricity is. Oh, no, they know what electricity is. Yes, the type charts. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about? Name Zisu, Captain of the Security Corps. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zisu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Wait, her cord goes through the Pokeball. That's really weird. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. Yes, agile and strong. Move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you could use Agile, which will have less power, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. Either way, it takes more PP. Strong style moves, Agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Yes, you have to master the move, and then you can use it in either style. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. You don't know any powerful moves, you fool. Zisu's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. 
You should come as well, once you've readied your Pokémon team, and perhaps have them learn some new move styles from Zisu if you'd like. Ah, here we are, back in the field lands. Got the team swapped around, a little bit more diverse. Oh, it's Volo. Boo! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. Yes, it's the back attack. The secret backstrike technique. Patented. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch, or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in his way. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Want to know about all the Pokemon? Nerd! So first things first, time to book it to the objective. Don't let your guard down. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Useless. Over here! My, this is Terzu. My, my, a new face in the village? Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Ma. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to his way. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need solving. So the important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Totally. That's good to hear. The security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Blah. <laughs> Level 10, so strong. Interesting they don't even show you the move order yet. Because that's a tutorial secret. Probably waste a move there. Yeah, because one more hit and it's done for. Here, have a potion. Uh -huh. And I still get to attack. Since I'm so fast. Battle's basically over already. One more hit and you're done for, buddy. For a second there, I thought I was going to survive with one HP. Levels up for everyone, especially the weaker ones. Yeah, so the EXP system in this game, the higher your levels are, the less experience they get. Oh look, he's so sad, he lost. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. You people... Make all kinds of things with crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Acorns? Vivid chokes? You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. And they don't really expand on that. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It's large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights? Well, the phone says I gotta. Hello? It's God. That thing you have, it's showing you where you gotta go, isn't it? My, my, that is a curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? No. It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. 
I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the Almighty Sinnoh? I do. The basically, the Diamond and the Pearls fighting over who's the correct one, Palkia or Dialga. Though I'm not certain you've been told the true story, the true story is this. Neither are correct. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisue was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of the people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisue region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisue with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Hey, a stupid Shinx. Still trying to chase me down? But you can't. See that? Run away. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What? Oh, there they are. Woo, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by the almighty Sinnoh. Delelewoop. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker, here to disturb the peace with its racket. Delelewoop. And that's what you're here for, to drive that interloper from this place. You gonna ensure my Pokemon are ready for battle? Now have at him. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder Alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and may not know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this Alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this Alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. So their eyes glow red and they're alpha because they're big. So first, got to switch up. Like how you can see the eyes still glowing in the menu. That's going to bet it all on Starly. Yeah. The little woo. Press Y to check the action order. Now you can see it. And they get to attack first. Is there an alpha? Jesus. Let's see. Info. 40, 60. That should be enough to catch him. Let's make a sacrifice. Then when you use Aerial Ace, you go out there. How dare you? No, 
Nope, not that. One more time. Stay in there this time. Don't be a jerk. Levels for everyone except that Starly. Ooh, I can evolve the Wormpool now. Let's see, Beautiful is the good one. If it's a Dustock, it's Dustox, it's bad. I forget, it's a Silcoon and Cascoon. Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. That you only mentioned at the beginning of the game, and then never again. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Weir! Oh, Weir, it's a deer. What in the world? Look, it's a Stantler, but it's all fancy. It's the great Weir Deer. Or Weir Deer? So regal, majestic. He looks upon you with kindness. I'd say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisway while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor Laventon. Oh, it's her. Didn't read the text box. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once he carried out his request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Ottoman and the commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisway region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirdeer has taken a liking to Tearsu as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. You know her little hairpin thing? It looks like uh, the Pokemon from Sword and Shield, the little rabbit one. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Blonk. Complete. Bye-bye. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. Wow, that was quick. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. What say we all head back to the Wallflower? Only with a one. So sad. So some of the story is locked behind your rate ranking. So I guarantee you're going to have to fill out some of the Pokedex in order to advance. Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. He's like, oh yes, I can see there are three of you. I know how to count. Just because I'm an old fool. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Oh, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? 
I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure they're here to handle things just fine. Oh, that face again. She's just always upset. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver so mighty even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. The next day. Knock, knock. Wake up, stupid. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. So I'm going to end this video here, and then the next video will be quelling the very first noble. So be sure to stay tuned by subscribing, and until next time, take care.